Hello students, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to study about sarcomia. Now, before we start with the sarcomia, let me discuss about muscle fiber. Muscle fiber, which is also known as muscle cell. And it is lined by the cell membrane, mis membrane that is known as sarcolemma. Cytoplasm is known as sarcoplasm. And endoplasmic reticulum is known as sarcoplasmic reticulum, which is a storehouse for calcium. Clear? And inside it, you will find very important feature is that there are many myofibrils are present. Myofibrils, they are having sarcomeres. Is it clear? So we are going to study about sarcomere in detail. So muscle cell is clear, beta. Now let us see myofilament. You know very well, we discussed right now that inside the muscle cells, you will find large number of myofilament, also known as myofibrils. And they are having alternate dark and light band on it. Clear? This is dark band, also known as A band. And this is light band, also known as I band. Details that will tell that they are having a treated appearance. Why? Because of the distribution pattern of two important protein, that is actin and myosin. And the both proteins are arranged as a rod-like structure. So this is myosin filament, thick filament, and this is actin filament, which is thin filament. Clear, beta? Now we will be studying the diagram of sarcomere. See here. This is, you can see, I'll just draw in front of you. Please check it. This is thick filament. Clear? which is also known as A band. So this is thick filament also known as A band and made with the myosin, clear? So this is thick filament. Check carefully. The dark band contain myosin and it is called A band also known as anisotropic band. So this is A band. First of all, this much diagram is comfortable better. This is A band. Then you will find this is I band. This is I band. Clear? I band means made up of actin filament means thin protein. The light band contain actin and it is called I band. The two band I've drawn diagram in front of you. I hope you are able to understand. This is I band. Clear? This is I band. Now, I band is called, reason is because I band is called I, why? Because it is light in color. So my learning tips was this, ki light band, means I will take this letter, second letter, is also known as I band, made up of which protein? Actin protein. And they are thin. Dark band, a we will take, it is known as A band and it is made up of myosin protein and this is thick filament. Clear? Now, here you will find this is Z line. In the half eye, you will find this is Z line. So this is Z line. So this is half eye from this side and this is also half eye from this side. Now this area, this area, okay, this area if you see, it is only made up of A band, there is no overlapping. So this is known as H zone. And in between the H zone, this is present M line. This is M line which is present in between the A band, means present in the H zone. Clear, beta? Now see, theory. So each sarcomere contains two sets of thin filament. And in the center of each eye band, you will find Z line, which is made up of elastic fiber. Please, very important, understand properly. The thin filaments are attached to Z line. Thick filament, called A band, is held in the middle by the help of a M line. And M line is made up of thin fibrous membrane. Z line is elastic fiber and M line is fibrous membrane. Understood? Please understand the concept properly better. Okay. And what is sarcomere? Sarcomere is a distance between two Z line. 
So the portion of the myofibril between two Z line is known as sarcomere. Means one sarcomere will include one A band and two half I band. Clear? This is A band and this is half I. This side is half I and same here this side is also half I. The edges of thin filament in the resting conditions, they partially overlap the free end of the thick filament, leaving the central part of thick filament only. And this central part of thick filament where there is no overlapping is known as edge zone. I have drawn the diagram just to explain you so that you can understand properly. Is it clear? Now, if you see this diagram, you can find this is dark band. And dark band means thick filament. Thick filament means myosin is surrounded by 6 actin. You can check beta. It is surrounded by 6 actin. Clear? Please understand the concept carefully. Each thick filament is surrounded by 6 thin filament. Clear? And see this is one thin filament. Thin filament is surrounded by 3 thick filament. And each thin filament is surrounded by triangular arrangement of three thick filament. Means around the thick, there are six thin. But around thin, there are only three thick. Is it clear? It means thin filament is twice the number as thick filament in the region of the filament overlap. So I hope so. In this video, I tried to draw in front of you sarcomere and you have understood what is the structure of sarcomere. Please remember these are very, very important questions. Again, I'm highlighting it. What is Z line made up of? What is M line made up of? I hope so. This video might be helpful for you. Thanks for watching.